What did your father do when he came to the States? He continued to work in the hardware business, and um, um, he certainly had a lot of influence on me in terms of he was always one who was interested in how things work, and, and he was not a very literate person uh, in the sense he didn't read a lot, but whenever uh, he was with friends and they would ask him uh, about television, which was new, of course, in the early 50s, uh, he was the one who could explain it and uh, loved to repair things and so on. And your mother was a homemaker? She was a homemaker. Uh, she, uh, you know, at that time, she had never worked in her life in Germany. Uh, and when we came over, we didn't have a lot of resources, so she became first a seamstress and then a masseuse and then finally an x-ray technician with a physician and uh, actually worked at uh, the Columbia Presbyterian Hospital where I was training. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned a brother. A brother, right. He went into business, uh, was originally going to go into engineering, but uh, the prospects for engineers did not look so good at that time, and so uh, uh, he started working uh, in a commercial laundry and recognized that um, that was not going to make a good career for him. So he went to teacher's college and then uh, trained in industrial psychology and ultimately worked in uh, with various companies sort of uh, in executive personnel recruitment and so on. So uh, that was his career. Mm -hmm. And did you have other brothers or sisters? No, no, that's it, one Do brother. Mm -hmm. Talk just very briefly about the family members that you left behind in Germany. Well, um, my, on my father's side, my uh, grandmother died fairly early from uh, complications of rheumatic disease, bacterial endocarditis, so I never knew her. Um, my uh, grandfather on my father's side died, I think, shortly after we left, and I forget now what. It, it had nothing to do with the political uh, disruption. On my mother's side, uh, my grandmother there died uh, also, I think, uh, of natural causes of, of cancer, although I have a cousin who thinks that there may have also been some, something to do with depression, and I, I'm just not sure exactly. But my maternal grandfather uh, moved to Buenos Aires, where um, his son and his grandchildren uh, lived. And then he came to the United States um, actually just shortly after the war, I think, or maybe even during the war, and lived with us in New York then. What about your uncles? My uncles all came to the United States. Uh, the one uncle uh, tragically thought that the uh, Nazi period was just going to be a temporary political thing, and so he moved to uh, Paris with his family because he was a great uh, fan of the French and was imprisoned shortly. His wife thought this was the end of things and committed suicide with her children, three children and herself turning on the oven. And uh, he was then released from prison, came over to the United States and emigrated. And uh, it turns out that several more distant relatives probably were killed in the, in the Holocaust. Um, one relative uh, who was the wife of a, what was called a Walton Wiesen doctor, a, a sort of general practitioner, a country doctor, who had led a very privileged kind of life, uh, ended up in Theresienstadt. And it was interesting because when I was an intern and people uh, saw my name Metzger, and they would say, uh, are you related by any chance to Lisa uh, Metzger? And I said, yes, she's a distant aunt. And they were absolutely congratulatory because apparently she, was, she really blossomed and, and helped people and so on. Tiny little woman. And when she came to New York and uh, was, read the New York Times every day in old age and, and so on, she was uh, quite, a, quite a lady. Was, was your family fluent in English before you got no, here? No, my father had taken some English lessons, but uh, no, none of us were. And of course, at that time, uh, my brother and I, my brother's three years older, 
so he had been a little bit to school. Uh, I hadn't, uh, but uh, you know, one of the last things we wanted to do was to speak German, and so we picked up the English pretty quickly, and my parents did also. And um, there was no such thing as bilingual education at that time. <laughs>